What's up guys, welcome back to another Gwent video and today's focus is going to be on a pretty fun kind of Mimi deck which is Living Armor Alchemistic Shenanigans. Now I'm not the first one to come with this idea, this deck I actually was inspired from uh, Trinet who played this deck I think almost a year ago now, it's been quite some time but I really liked the deck that time and the concept was really cool. Uh, but obviously now we've had multiple expansions so and new cards so obviously the deck has changed quite a bit. Uh, so first things first, we're running Tactile Decision. This is simply the best Nilfgaard re leader right now, simply because of cards like uh, Sunset Wanderers, um, Afan, and of course, Mage Assassins. It just gives you so much tempo. Now, we're not running um, Snowdrop, but I will give you an alternative if you wish to put her in the deck. But uh, we're running Caller as our stratagem just to control if we're going up against uh, Fold Test, for example. That's one of the ways we can you know, you know know lock him down unless he gets uh, Crystal... Um, Crystal Skull Veil. Uh, in that case, we have Heat Wave, uh, Yennefer, and Wilgefortz. Preferably Yennefer or Wilgefortz because Heat Wave is for the Siege, so just keep that in mind. Uh, as I said, Karathi Heat Wave is just great control. Living Armor is one of the core combinations. Without this card, you this deck does not exist. So for those who don't know what this card does, it this power, a unit's power is always equal to its armor. So if its armor goes down to 8, its power goes down to 8. But if somebody somehow go, damages its... Uh, Power, like with bleeding or with reckless flurry which goes through armor by the way it has no effect also this card is phenomenal against duels because duels uh the armor re resolution to power resolves after the duel so when the duel is happening they're just pinging armor down and then they kill their own duel unit and then this thing resolves so it's phenomenal uh yeah amazing card uh, Germain, uh, this is because he's going to give us uh, the cows, which will be which we can then combo with our alchemists or our alternate target, which is our slave infantry. Uh, Ramon, because we are running two artfane tortoises and of course slave infantry, just having that extra target is so useful. Brathens, he's just a great guard in general. Uh, informant and emissary as his targets, uh, though I can see the suggestion to remove Brathens and put in Snowdrop for him. And then improve something else by two provisions. So you could potentially upgrade your uh, tourney joust to a six damage, like um, maybe a lock. You could run a a lock that, that would be pretty useful. You could also run a Peter if you want to have a reset, which can be really useful as well. Uh, as well, um, you could even run a second blight maker, which could be useful, obviously. Uh, but I would I would say a lock would be pretty useful here. Uh, so that's one of my suggestions. Yennefer Invocation, again, phenomenal card. Wilgefortz, fantastic card. Spheres is interesting here. I actually haven't played Spheres in over a year, so I just wanted to play him. And this card is phenomenal against Koshche. This card, if you have it in hand, can single-handedly stop the Koshche train from happening. It's so good. It's so good. The, the reason for this is simple. Karanthor into Koshche puts their Koshche at two strength, the first one, right? You Spheres that one, it comes to your side, and then you proc its Thrive, which gives you immediately a Larva or a you know, uh, or, you know, the Arach Arrakis, whatever it is, um, based on your adrenaline. You've denied one. And then the second cost you have Vilgefortz, you have Invocation, you have Heat Wave. And of course, if you're running a lock in place of Brathens, you have a lock as well. So it's just so good to stop that down, stop that very quickly. It's phenomenal. Uh, actually, another suggestion is you can replace Brathens with uh, uh, Ivar Evil as well. Ivar is also phenomenal in this meta right now. And then if you're not, if you're removing Ivar, I would say remove your Informant and Emissaries for some other card. For honestly, the Informant can be pretty useful against monsters, giving you some good, uh, giving you lar larvas, which can be very good for you in round one. Uh, but you can get rid of the Emissary for uh, another tourney joust. Like removal is always nice. Anyway, uh, where were we? Uh, Arturis Vigo gives you another Slave Infantry. He also gives you another um, Alchemist, and we do have a lot of bronzes though, so it's obviously not a 100% guarantee, but it's still a great card to have here. Dead Man's Tongue for a bit of thinning, uh, Afan for thinning obviously, and with a leader, Blightmaker for one of the Mage Assassins. So your leader, typically you want to have three of the, uh, two of these three cards. So you see these three cards here, you want to have two of them in hand, and then the third one should be in deck for your Blightmaker, preferably the Mage Assassin, because obviously the synergy with, uh, with the Mage, you get the extra three points. Uh, Trinity Just Removal, as I said. Two Nosca Sardins, because they're just good cards on in round one. Uh, Alchemist, again, very important card in this combo. So the idea here is you select your living armor first. You select your living armor and you select preferably a 
Germain cow. And essentially, the cow becomes 10 strength, and this goes down to 1 strength, but because it has 10 armor, it then goes straight back to 10, ar uh, 10 power points. So you're not gaining, you're not losing any points, which means every alchemist is playing for 13 points, which is really strong. Really strong. Uh, alternate, obviously, you don't, if you don't have the cow for some reason, you, go, you can obviously use it on your mage assassins or your, you know, any weak unit. It's not terrible, but prefer the optimal play is obviously use it on a cow. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the deck. I don't explain these three cards here. So, uh, you can replace your collar for something else if you want Crystal Skull or you just want Tactical Advantage or Magic Land. That's up to you. Uh, I would say if you want to replace Collar, you can run uh, Tactical Advantage simply because this just gives takes row space, which you really don't want to lose. And um, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. You want to see me play three games with this deck, uh, all in ranked. So yeah, a bit of meme fun in ranked, and you might be surprised by the results. Uh, also guys, tomorrow expect there to be the third video for the Thanet Coup releases. Uh, that'll be Scoia'tael, which is super exciting, because obviously ST is my favorite faction. And I'm hoping that those cards can actually bump up ST a little bit. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoy the games. Let's just jump right into it. Alright, game number one against monsters. Koshche, I presume. So this is where Sphere is actually is quite valuable. I can steal the one, the first Kosh, I can just will go force the second one. I have this for round one, just mulligan this. Ah, uh, this is just a very gold heavy hand, which I do not want. It's mulligan, living armor. That's okay, it's not bad actually. Immediate leader use with the Endrigal Larva. Okay. So obviously they want the Sabbath. Duh. Um, let's just do this. Nausicaa! So yeah, I think... I mean, the chances of us winning this first round are pretty slim. But I would like to try. I mean, I don't mind using Vilgeforts. There's a second Larva, so this is a lot of points. I think it's just... I just take the Prophets here. Um, I just take, uh, do I take the Nosco first and then the Marathons? The, actually, no. This is better, right? Duchess is informant. Put on the back row. I don't want to enable there. I mean, I don't want to help them gain Sabbath, right? Try to minimize it as much as possible. So we can thin this out with our all brick. Honestly, this should actually be a uh, blight maker. It's much better. Oh, that's a lot of thrive. That's actually scary. That's very scary. That's uh, six points for every card they play now. That's a lot of tempo. Very scary indeed. You get Sabbath pretty easily as well. There's a the rat catcher. Gives them Sabbath. It's, this is a 15 point play. Just a squishy. Just a squishy. I think I use leader, or do I wait for a little bit? Utter your wish, and I shall make it so. Snicker? Nice. That's a nice ping. That's a very lucky ping. Reduces one ne thrive, which is nice. Uh, we're also getting thrive and deploy, so we technically have four engines. We have five engines here with assimilate. I don't have any assimilate targets though here. But they have five. There's the witch apprentice. Ugh, that's, that's, that's a bit scary. I think I pop leader here, maybe? And then play Vilgefortz? Is that it? Is that the play? Alright, let's see what leader does. Okay, living armor. Alright, okay, so we put uh, you, you, and the chances of splaying Sweers round one is pretty low, but we draw into him anyways. But I think we just mulligan this. Cassinagloween! It looks like a decent lead, but it's not. It's monsters. Sabbath is very scary. And their Sunset Wondrous is gonna come out soon. There's Gan Kian, which plays as a 9. Look at that. I had the pass here. I can actually go. It forces them to go down a card, actually, if I take the pass here. 
Are they gonna- They're using leader. Ooh. That is really good for me, right? Okay, so my concern here is I think that I think I just take the pass here. Because I have Wilgefort for one cost tree, I have this for the other cost tree. And they can't use leader, so I think I'm just gonna take the pass here. Yeah. I think that's the I think that's the play. So we're gonna draw into Alchemist, Invo, Heatwave, I think all this would be very nice. Um That's Mulligan, that's very good, that is very good. Uh, this could be my dry pass card. I think I take the mulligan this then. Our choice is fantastic. I don't think they're gonna dry pass. I think they might go for the 2-0 just because of roll clock. But then again, they don't have Lido, so... Okay, they are playing, okay. Okay, okay. Maxi, alright. Your magic can't harm me. No magic can. Just play this, right? I want to make sure I stay in the lead. Last is very useful against monsters, obviously, if you have doll removal. Ah, uh, this is just looking at these two. Nine points. I'm back. So, after okay, so now they have caution hand guarantee, which means next turn they will go for the Garantir combo. Ah, uh, so this gives me the lead, right? This gives me the lead. Might have been my living armor turn though, but honestly my next turn is going to be Spheres. This is Garen turn to Spheres if they wish to play it. Never mind, it's Dark Ray on a lock. Interesting. Is in okay, okay. Uh, might be my Artorias then. Slave Infantry. Unfortunately, no. Truly electrifying. Truly electrifying. The Sunset Wanderers comes out, right? Was it here? Was it here? I think it was here, actually. Because Mata drew the card, right? So the log gets out, which is actually really good, because they could have locked my living armor, so that's really nice. Alright, this is their Karanthir Koshi turn. This is their Karanthir Koshi turn. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nope, never mind. Oh, I really want. Um, I really don't want to play this. I guess I just Vilga Forks. Is this my Vilga Forks? I have the Heat Wave, right? So I guess. Eh, no. Maybe I just play this. This is 11 plus 4. I can swap the power of this onto this. I don't want to drop Living Arm, right? It's, it's just points at this point. It's just points. Greetings. What is it? That's nice. That's really good. So their living armor comes out now. I think it's at 12. I think they got an extra point on us, on us I believe. I believe. I, I didn't do the maths on that thing. But, this is their turn to do the a boss, okay. Alright, okay. So, Invo would be fantastic here. My proactive is, proactivity is that. I would like to draw the 7. That's not good. That's very good. Oh, I get larva, so... I don't have any small units, so this is a mulligan. Perfect. What a hand. What a hand. Yeah, they're living on... Their uh, Sunset Wanderers is going to be pretty big. That's for sure. This was the damage crone, right? So they use the damage crone, which is interesting. So they have the boost crone and the unbrewist left. Weavis and Wispus left. Sorry, Weavis and Brewis left. Uh, I think I want to delay this as much as possible because it's, it's a heat wave target, right? And that would be really bad. There's Brewis, okay. Do I. Um, do I just invo that? I think I just invo that, right? Wanderers comes out now. Uh, 
It's just looking pretty awkward. It's a bit unfortunate that I had to lose your main. Opponent is deciding, huh? There's the Karen there. Alright, Sears. This is why Sears is so good. Wanderers is just the Wilgerforce slash Heatwave target. That's fine. And it procs for me. Perfect. So now I play Vilgefortz. And I destroy the second one, which drops as a 4 only, no Thrive proc, so this is really good for me. Do I heat wave that or do I want to. Yeah, I just heat wave this red. But I get Thrive procs. Neuromancy for the yeah the remaining crone. All right, give me a better bronze. I do not want to copy that, please. <laughs> I'm the costly player now. That's the heat wave. They finally do it. I should have actually mulliganed this. I don't know why I mulliganed this. I, 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 was, I was I was thinking, perfect. We defeated Koshi with this deck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Let's go. Let's freaking go. All right. Let's jump into the next game. All right. Game number two is against Inspired Seal, which means Folter Swarm, which is looking honestly very sketchy for us. That deck is very difficult to beat. I'd like to draw Wilgefort, so Heat Wave for the full test. This is a mulligan run one. Spheres is not good, I guess, I think. Son of a gun. I just have to take the boss at 7 then. I don't have any of these cards. Bannard, huh? Wager, I can cast him with my foot. So I think I just get out on 7. Uh, I don't have any way to remove full test, so that's the biggest problem. Poof, it's a bit, it's a bit frustrating. Like I have three answers for full test, right? So not drawing any of them is a l bit annoying. I think I just want to thin uh, as much as possible. All right, I need to change this to blight maker. It's just more points. Okay, this is their siege. All right. Um. I just, I just we thin. That's all we do. I don't know why I put all break. I just saw gold and thing because Blightmaker is three extra points. Yeah, I don't know. This is a mistake. It's a big mistake. This should be Blightmaker. I'll change that um, after this game. Honestly, this is probably my best Sphere's target if they don't use the ping. Yeah. Up to it, knaves. Just do this. That was a uh, 11 point sphere, so pretty good. Carrick Marine. Did they not draw their. Uh... Is this not Commandos? What is this? Uh, I mean, the patience on this thing is just gonna be insane, but I really can't do anything about it, right? Alright, we are not playing. Uh... You Joust is actually useful, so just get rid of this. Joust is useful because I can actually kill the Bannard once it get once it gets resurrected by Shani. There's the first AA. This probably gives them a lead at this point, unless eh, it's, it's it's probably a bronze which gives them a lead then. Is this Commandos? No, it's another Bannard. Okay, nine. Warm up with a fire spell. So, shall we warm up? I think I just take the pass. I keep my leader, take the pass. Yeah. We'll go the long round, I guess. 
I just need to make sure I have Heat Wave so I can get the Siege out of the way. And then I should be looking pretty good. We know the Devotion, which means their 12 removal is duels. If this is not Commandos, then they're running duels like uh, Unsays and Seltkirk. So... But the interesting thing is... If they duel my Living Armor, that actually is a bad move. Because the Armor doesn't go down until the duel is done. Seven and three, okay. So, Jowl should be fantastic. It just destroys that immediately, which would be very nice. I like to draw my up font. There's the Joust. Perfect. This isn't. Mills good. Two of these is not great. Heatwave's nice. That's not bad. That's the. That's my Siege. Uh, okay. What is my pass? That's a seven point. Uh, let's just get the seven out of the way. I mean, this, the point of this is to play Alchemist with Living Armor. Alright, so now we need this bad boy, this bad boy, this bad boy. There's a lot of cards I want, basically. That's good. That's fine. That's actually pretty good, actually. We get rid of the Informant. Ramon is great onto this. That's really good. Oops, my bad. I just had to move my mic slightly. Uh, but I want to draw Living Armor. So we take the Mulligan. We take the Mulligan on... I guess we take the Mulligan on the Joust then. Rathans is nice. Alright, okay. Proactivity is going to be this. Uh, this is range lock. This is going to go melee. So I'm hoping to draw this, this, and this. Opponent is deciding. Is that your Shani? No, it's Natalis into Boiling Oil. Okay, that's not the worst in the world. Bombardment. Oh no, not the cows. He got almost every cow. Wow. Wanderers comes out now. Artorius, perfect. So I, they're gonna drop Siege, I believe, now here. So I just Heat Wave. Okay. They have A. They have AA. They have Siege. Shani is my expectation. Gerhardt. This isn't a Commander. This looks like dual mages, I guess, with Siege. There's a second A. Onto a machine. Interesting. No, is that does that mean there's no siege in deck? Not the cow. What have these cows done to you, man? My loyalty is to imperial coin, not to the face depicted. I hate nothing more than a creaky door. Alright, let's use leader now. Uh back row. My men know the meaning of sacrifice. Ow, oh, those rows suck. One, two. We don't have living armor. That's so bad. That is so bad. Very unfortunate. This alchemist is then looking to be a... What? <laughs> There's a siege. Now we heatwave that. There's some armor here, which... Which we can, you know, ping down. Hopefully tanks it tanks it a bit. We can actually kill that if we get the mage assassin from Artorius. Slave infantry is also not bad, but it can be played on this for pretty good points. Just thinking what this is gonna be for. We get a cow next turn, so we get slave infantry value. There's a Shani. I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I Is that my invo? Honestly, oh, he goes for the Zealika. So he has another casting contest, I believe, in hand then. Do I just invo that? Is that my invo? 
Yeah, I think I just invo this. If he has another casting contest, it's a lot of points. It's a 13... 13 point invo, I think. It's a lot of points. Reinforce Ballista. My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. So two, three. So they can they need two damage to kill this. We are ahead, but it's looking very dangerous for us, especially with these machines on the board. Yeah. A rebirth. Alright, let's do this. You will not regret this. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Your humbles. Very unfortunate that. I don't think they have time for Shawnee Res. I think. I think, if I'm not mistaken, what's the best Shani res is this still? Damping that down means they don't have a duel in hand? Oh, they do, never mind. Selkirk duel, obviously, but. Alright. Yeah, I think we're just losing this, unfortunately. It's not looking healthy for us. We're 18 points ahead, but they're getting 3 points a turn. They still have zeal on Anseus, I assume. Sintrin Onwa is not a good play though. It's a very low tempo play. It's only 5 points. The shame I have no time. Okay. This is just 4. So I'm at 58. They have... Yeah, I think... Honestly, we I think we just lose. They get the Shani res off as well, which means... Yeah, we're gonna lose. Oh, if we had Living Armor, it would've been much better. Because I don't believe they had a, any way to kill the Living Armor. There's Gerhardt. The life of a source isn't a bed of roses, Let's go for the instant Gerhardt, yeah. That is so frustrating. Eh, oh well. I mean, I, I knew I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not playing like a better deck or something, so it's fine. You've not seen me. One, two, three, four, five. They just have five in the passive points they're getting, so... Yeah, Ansias, yes, sorry. That's unfortunate. We lost by nine points, so Wilkefort's would have living armor there would have been fantastic, obviously. Alright, not a problem. Let's find another game. Alright, oh. No, not alright. No. Eh, I'm unranked. I should expect the meta decks. Check, but it is. Let's see how we fare against it. Okay, my round one hand is looking alright, not the worst. I have two. Two cards for leader, which is good. Mulligan this. That's nice. Uh, I have to mulligan this, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So. Passive Floor Peaches. Instant Horde activation. Oh, yes it has, unfortunately. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm not, as I said in the last game, I'm not playing a meta deck, so I should expect the losses. Professor, wow, it's a commitment. Not the dead one, I'd imagine for our next rendezvous. That is a commitment. Give us the boat. That is a very expensive card to play. So I guess okay, Sewer Raiders comes out now. This is a nine point play. It's my twenty four. Just play my thinning out, I guess. No good wine will come from here. Not even compost. Not even compost. Mm -hmm. 
So, what amounts is for the Witch Hunter, the Witch Finder? Olivia Hale, basically. I have Vilgefortz, I have Heat Wave, I have Invo. What are my answers for? Uh, that guy. It's it's a boss, basically. I mean, I just pass, right? There's no way I keep up. How much is this bad boy? Dead Man's Tongue plays for nine maximum. This is I'm gonna get rid of this and this potentially. So nine points. Nine puts me at eighteen. Just take the boss. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I take the, I take the boss. That's two cards gone. Two very expensive cards playing. But this is Syndicate. They have a bunch of high-end cards they can run very easily. That's a mulligan. That's a mulligan. That's actually good. Uh, Germain would actually be fantastic here. That's fantastic. Alright, not bad. That's a Ramon target. Uh, dry pass card. It's also my dry pass card. But I don't think they're gonna dry pass, are they? Roland, that's not living. Moving, or I'll beat you bloody. I'll beat you bloody. Uh, that's an instant heat wave. Is it a heat wave or is it a Vilgefortz? I think it's a heat wave. So in case they're not devotion, they're running renew. I just they just just don't have the option for that. Eavesdrop, okay. Remember, this will be our little secret. This will be our little secret. Remember, this will be our little secret, yeah. Okay. That's my Vilga Forts. Quite the menial task. That's Mafis actually the purest pretty team is purest good. in all Novigrad. Mafis takes purest in Novigrad. Deciding what? Salamandra Hydra. So this is actually this might just be Salamander shenanigans. An abomination. Okay, so I I think I play leader here, just make this bigger. Thin out my cards as well. That's awesome. That's not bad. Alright, you go, you go. I think I get rid of this. Maybe Spheres. Spheres no, I have a Spheres target, so it's fine. What's my small as this one? This deck? Alright. On to the self, okay. Delay the ship one turn. Um. You are not regret this, good sir. Lightmaker. Do I have a mage in deck? Uh, no. But I can put something on top though. Or I could just play this for points. Actually, I can poison something, right? Let's just do this. My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't grow. So there's a Salamander deck, I think. Uh, which means the best way to defeat Salamander is having Bail or having Lasse. So next turn, this guy's gonna come out, so that, that's fine. Hoping to draw into one of these two. How do I get through Defender? This is where Infiltrate would be so nice. Damn it. Kurt, okay. Purify? Yep. I can't wait to hear your wicked flesh, sister. Give me your boat. I mean, I still don't know if they're devotion. No, wait, they were devotion, right? They used this on my non boosted. Wait, did they? Yeah, they used it on this. Yeah, they're, they're devotion, for sure. Perfect, okay. Alright. 
looking pretty good. We got rid of this, this, this. Hurts down, which means the purifier. Their purifier is gone. I don't know why that's important, but it's gone. All right, so we do have the combo cards. Invo, that is what I want. But these are all good cards. Damn it! <laughs> is Brathens? Yeah, Brathens is pretty good here. Yeah. This is just, yeah, I, I keep this. I have to keep this. Uh, I have a lot of range. I have two range lock in it, so just place melee. You take us so the good thing is their uh, freak show's gone, which means. How do they tackle this? Tin boy? Actually, this as a purifier, like a semi purifier, would be very useful. Dun, 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 dun. Shock, okay. Alright. So actually these two cards are really good here. If they are playing Salamander, which I expect they are. Especially with the Veil target there. These two are fantastic, because I can just remove poisons from two units. Dun, dun, dun. There is the mutant maker that puts them at seven. Perhaps a different ingredient, an active one. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, it's a fire swing, right? Jacques gives him an extra coin. So they're probably thinking like, oh wow, this is my great salamander. I know, but I know I'm playing into it, but I don't really have a choice right now. Gellert, all right. What is it? Interesting to move the poison actually. That's very interesting. Any chance of playing a veiled bronze unit? That'd be great. Wait, they're not salamander, are they? They poisoned this. Why would they do that? Philippa on the on this guy? Power. The object of dark desire. Power. The object of dark desire. Your humble Um yeah. I said I have exactly two cows, which is exactly enough for this. If I was playing against Scorch, my god is this juicy as hell. I don't think the Salamander, simply because they poisoned their Siggy Reuben, okay, so I guess the last one is Caesar. Makes sense, right? I think we just... I still think we lose if the last card is Caesar, like... Yeah, they have 9 plus 9, 18 coins. Damn it, yeah, we're gonna lose. That card is Caesar. Bilz Bilzin? Bilzin, is that his surname? It's not Caesar, what? Do we win? It's a lot of points they have, it's so, yeah, no, we lose, we lose, never mind, we lose. Yeah, we lose. Another 9 here. 5. <gasps> we win! No, we win! Get wrecked! Yo, get wrecked! Holy shit! Oh, that is so satisfying. So satisfying. Alright, guys. That's pretty much three games. Uh, you know, two wins, one loss. And we won against Goshtrim. We won against Jackpot. You know, I think we, we just lost against Siege. And that's because we had a bad draw. Oh, my. God, am I happy. Alright, last thoughts on this deck. Uh, so yeah, definitely this is a much better card. Uh, obviously gives you three extra points. Uh, Albrick is just not that good in this deck. Uh, I can see an, uh, an interesting idea to switch Brathens out for Snowdrop. Uh, because you're running this leader. Realistically though, you can just remove spheres. Snowdrop is just better than spheres. Uh, those spheres was invaluable against the Gosh deck. Keep that in mind. Gosh got wrecked because we played spheres. Simple as that. Um... Though, if you want consistency, you can re potentially remove uh, Brathens and run... Uh, 
what's the guy? Uh, Oniromancy, actually. So that could also be a consideration. You can remove one of these two, depending on which one you feel is giving you less value. I think Ramon is more fun simply because I have slave infantry. But because I'm only running slave one slave infantry, you can potentially remove Ramon and just replace that with Oniromancy, which means you need to reduce something by three provisions, which would be uh, something. Yeah, you'd have to think about it. But yeah, that would be my suggestion. I think this deck is super fun, though. Really super fun. Uh, so yeah, I'll share this deck. Uh, the deck list will be in the description below, as I stated in the intro. Three games, two wins against potentially meta decks. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.